Hi and welcome to Longevity's Learning Lab. Today we have a stick weld 200i. We're going to pull it out of the box, uh, see what it comes with, uh, put the machine together and let's see what we get. Okay, here we go. Uh, cut the straps. All right. Operator's manual. There we go. We have uh, ground clamp and a stick rod uh, stinger and a little cardboard. Here's the machine. Power cable. Okay, that's it. Okay, it's out of the box. I just uh, weighed it over on our scale. It weighs 14.4 pounds, so it's pretty easy to carry around. Uh, 14, 15 pounds. Super portable. So we're going to go through uh, how to plug the machine together and what it's capable of. It's a 10 to 200 amp machine. Uh, Tiny little portable unit. Uh, here's our on off switch in the back, and our power lead that comes out of the machine and in front of the machine. So, what we have is our positive uh, dense connect, our negative dense connect, and uh, our amperage control. We have on off light and a temp over uh, overheat light. Here's our this is going to be our digital uh, amperage out, output signal and our uh, TIG or stick capability. So it does have a TIG capability. You'd need a, um, a TIG torch uh, with its own operating bottle. Gas doesn't flow through this machine, but uh, you can run TIG off of this machine. Three, two, one. Here's our positive dense connect, our negative dense connect. So we're gonna connect, here's our ground clamp. Uh, dense connect. So we're going to go negative to our ground clamp and we're going to go positive uh, to our stinger. Now this is DC electrode. The electrode, the stinger, the welding rod is going to come out of this and we want to be DC electrode positive and that's primarily because uh, most of the electrodes that you're going to use are going to be DC positive electrodes. There's a couple that can handle negative, uh, like a 6011 rod can, can go DC. You could flip these and it, you could run uh, electrode negative for a 6011 rod, but most rods are, are AC and DC positive uh, connect. So that's why we're going to go DC EP for this setup. So I'm going to turn the machine on in a second. What that means is if I'm grounded to the table and I put an electrode in here with the machine on, then I'm live. So if I touch this table, if I just wander around, uh, happen to lay this down, whatever, this is uh, a hot electrode now and it's going to arc off of the table here. So um, we're going to be a, a little bit careful when we turn the machine on, uh, on how we control okay, we'll the turn the machine on. So we're at 54 amps. We're in the uh, uh, stick welding process. Here we go. That would move us to the TIG process. So we want to be in stick. We're on and our temp light is not on. We're running at 54. So there we go. Uh, control of our amperage through the machine. 10 to 200. Two. One, three, two, one. Okay, these are your basic welds that we'll go through quickly. Here's a butt joint. Uh, you would um, tack these two together and then and then fill up the space between the two. They're often uh, a thicker plates, going to be beveled. You'll do a root pass down at the bottom, and you'll fill up the uh, the beveled sides until the you have one solid piece of metal. <clears throat> this would be a corner uh, and you're going to weld 
right along the uh, corner edge. There's a there's a lap joint and you're going to weld right along the, where the pieces are overlapped together here. And this would be a T or a filler weld and so you're going to weld right along the base of the plate often on both sides. So your amperage setting for the machine is what is the key component here and you want a weld that penetrates into the bottom plate and the top plate when you're welding so you need to find the amperage that penetrates into these but doesn't cut through and undercut and, and leave um, uh, edges along the weld that are cut down into the base or the top metal. Now uh, amperage is going to be dependent on the thickness of this metal and the size of this electrode. This is a 1 8 70 18 rod and this is a 1 8 60 60 10 rod. So it's not that if you can tell these two rods are slight this is slightly bigger than this one. That doesn't the that's just the flux. It doesn't matter. What we're looking at is the diameter of the metal that's going to get transferred. These are both 1 8 rods. Um, so you can see the metal diameter is the same although the flux coating is slightly different on the outsides of these rods. So amperage is going to be determined by the electrode that you're using, uh, 3 30 seconds, 1 8 5, uh, 5 30 different rod sizes and the thickness of the metal and how you're going to penetrate into these plates. Uh, I believe that we have audio going here. So we're just going to run a couple beats and <coughs> Let the sound go.
one. These are the four welds I just did. 70 amps, 80 amps, 90 amps, 100 amps. So right out of the box, you can see the 200 eyes doing, doing just what it's supposed to do. You can see how at 70 amps, we're kind of cold. We're balling up. We're not getting a lot of penetration into the plate. 80, a little bit more. 90, starting to sit down a little bit, penetrating a little deeper into the metal. 100 amps, we're starting to uh, bite in pretty well. So uh, a little amperage adjustments, and you can see the different characteristics characteristics of, of each weld and, and how the higher amperage uh, it creates a hotter weld that penetrates more into the plate. These are all done with the uh, 187018. Three, two, one, three, two, one. So, Three, two, one. So longevity stick weld 200i, right out of the box and welding in about five minutes. Comes with a nice uh, quality ground clamp with a 15 foot lead, uh, an electrode holder, 15 foot lead, built to last. Also comes with a 220 to 110 adapter, so it's rated up to 125 amps on 110 volts. So all the welding I just did uh, could have been done out of a 110 socket. Uh, you have to go up to up to 220 uh, plug into 220 if you want to go from 125 to 200 uh, very nice portable little unit easy to work with uh, easy to set up uh, nice little unit to have around i hope this short video of longevity stick weld 200i helps you with any questions you have about the machine um, as always thanks for watching at longevity's learning lab